Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. We've got John and Andy coming over. We're going to have a Brit bike ride. Hello guys. Howdy Mike. Are you warm enough? Oh, it's got hot out there. We got, we got in some slow traffic. Too. Oh, it's hot, isn't it, for these bikes? They don't like it, do they like this? Not at all. Hi Andy. Hey mate, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Should be fun guys. Looking forward to it very much. A Triumph, BSA and a Norton. Very cool. Yeah, it idles really well, just from a standing start. Did you hear the one about the BSA, the Triumph and the Norton that went for a ride? Hopefully we all make it back okay. I'm just joking, these are two great bikes here and this is not too shabby. And as I said earlier, we've just had a, an unseasonally great week of weather. It's mid to late 80s and we're only in April. I think it's a record high actually for Oregon. So we're just going up to the top of that hill. That's Bald Peak. These two guys have already been riding quite a bit today. And they just called by and said, do I want to go for a ride? And how could I refuse? Hopefully it'll just be a couple of degrees cooler up there in the hills. John and Andy are both officers of the OVM, the Oregon Vintage Motorcyclists Club. And they've been meeting today to decide whether or not we'll go ahead and have the annual spring show in Corvallis. It's just a magic event, I love it. So I'll find out in a few minutes whether we are having it or not when we stop. faster around here myself so it's nice to relax a little bit and enjoy the scenery I just love that lightning of John's it's beautiful isn't it that color oh it's magic it was just like the, the zenith of the British motorcycle industry coming out with bikes like that just absolutely beautiful and the Triumph Bonnevilles from the late 60s oh my gosh where did it all go wrong Although I have to say I have a real soft spot for the A10s, which is the pre-unit version of the unit construction uh, Lightning that John has, the A65.
view. Well, we'll see if there's any bikes up here. There's usually a few, especially on a nice day. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it's a W650. That sounds pretty exotic, Tiger. <laughs> yes. Sounds like somewhere in India. Maybe. You know, when I first looked at this bike, I saw like it had this handmade Hokie, you know, like this car, this off car. Yeah, I've got a Himalayan as well. I've got a Royal Enfield Himalayan. It has Norman Hyde uh, exhaust. So it's got a really nice sound to it, actually. Not too loud. It's just solid machine, but. New ones though are like super technology. Like you have to have it's all screen orientated. Well, one of the great things about these old ones like this is everything's fixable. And would you believe it? Another Kawasaki W650 has just shown up. That was really nice. I enjoyed that very much. What are the chances of seeing two W650s together? And they all sort of knew each other as well. Just by happen chance, we all seem to end up there together. Interesting. No idea what he was doing. 